It is probably the last place you would expect something like this. A terrifying and surreal scene inside a Publix today in Plant City when a man walked in and lit himself on fire. Fox 13's Jordan Bowen is in Plant City hearing from a woman who saw it all happen. Latanya Bird was in the deli waiting for subs for her family when she says she heard a pop and turned around and saw bright orange flames. That's when she says she and other shoppers ran outside the back entrance. Tonight, police say the man who set himself on fire inside the store is in critical condition. Latanya Bird's typical Wednesday trip to Publix turned out to be anything but ordinary. As Bird was waiting for her subs to be made, she says all of a sudden chaos erupted. We hear a loud commotion towards the front of the store. And we tur I turn around and I look and it's amber, orange flames just all in the front of the store. According to Plant City Police, a man set himself on fire using an unknown accelerant inside this Publix on James L. Redmond Parkway just after 4 o'clock Wednesday. It happened in the entryway of the store, not far from where Bird and her two daughters were standing. Immediately we ran. Um, she's yelling, you know, we need to find the back exit. And so um, they escorted us like through the back door. We ran around and actually we crossed the highway to the other plaza. <laughs> we got a ride to come get us to go to the car. It was orange flames, big orange flames. And like it was covering, it was, it was a lot of flames. It wasn't just little ones. It was, they were really, really big and I got so scared. I had to run. According to police, several people within the store helped extinguish the flames. Bird says she's relieved she and everyone got out safely and says she's praying for the man and his family. When I saw like literally what happened later, I was saddened because, you know, I don't know what level of sadness could bring somebody to that. At this time, police are not releasing any more details about this man, only saying he is 30 years old and currently in critical condition at a local hospital. As for the store, it was closed for a short time, but reopened here around 730 earlier tonight. For now, reporting in Plant City, Jordan Bowen, Fox 13 News.